Hi guys, Mr. New Mobile here. This are the highlight of what we should be expecting on Apple event today. Please subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter by clicking the links in the description. Apple will update us with new versions of older products and possibly show off some new ones as well. Everything but new iPhones and Macintosh computers, which are expected at a separate event in October. The Apple event begins at 10 a.m. PDT and will be streamed on Apple's website and, and on the Apple app for Apple TV. The company is expected to introduce updated iPads and Apple Watch editions, possibly AirPod over-the-ear headphones, and Apple's take on the Tile Bluetooth key finder. Missing will be the new iPhone models, which has been delayed for an October release. Apple is expected to have a separate iPhone event in October. One big difference. This would be the first Apple product reveal in the iPhone era that won't be done before a live, adoring audience. Instead, it will feature pre-recorded demos over a two-hour time frame. Apple event today. Don't look for new iPhones just yet, analysts say the generator, by far, followed by services, the division that hounds customers to upgrade their Eclipse storage, watch iTunes movie rentals, and subscribe to its music service. Number 3 is iPads, followed by Macs and Apple's wearables division, which includes Apple Watch and the AirPods Bluetooth Buds. Apple Watch get ready for Series 6 of the watch, which is expected to be more about software than hardware. While the watch will have a more powerful processing chip, according to Tim Badgerin, an analyst with creative strategies, the big sell will be health features, he says. It is expected to be able to detect blood oxygen level, found in the iOS 14 mobile operating system upgrade. Watch users could get an improved electrocardiogram feature to check heart rate. Apple's roster of Apple Watches currently has Series 5 starting at $399 and Series 3, the edition from 2017, for $199. Bloomberg says Apple will replace Series 3 with a new lower-end watch, one that will include the health features of the more expensive watches. iPad Air, Apple putting most of its attention on a revised and different look as a home button and face ID, instead using the older Touch ID, but this time built into the side button of the tablet. This suggests that Apple could offer this feature on the new iPhones coming in October as well, as face ID has proved problematic in the COVID-19 era since it can't recognize faces with masks on. The new iPad Air, with edge-to-edge -edge display, could be as large as the top-of-the-line 11-inch iPad Pro, with bigger bezels, but sold for a much lower price point, $499 to the current $799 for the Pro. The iPad line starts at an economical $329 for the entry-level model, with the Air in middle position between the cheapest and most expensive models. But the Air looks, and giving it a more modern look, would help Apple competitively, could we see other products at the event as well. Well yes Apple may introduce their new over-the-ear headphones, called AirPod Studio, could join the lineup along with the long-rumored Apple Tags, Apple's clone of the Tile Bluetooth key tracker. Apple also could release an updated HomePod, the smart speaker Apple introduced in early 2018, to take on Amazon that currently sells for $299. Well see you guys on the next face. Please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks for watching see you on my next video one piece out.